What's up, you beautiful viewers? My name's Kevin Boudreaux, aka Woke One, and I'm an artist from Connecticut. Today, I want to go over a recent caricature that I drew from drawing it in the iPad to tattooing it into skin. So let's get the iPad and get to it. So the first thing we're going to need is a good reference. Today's caricature is going to be of actor Matt Berry, who plays Laszlo in the series What We Do in the Shadows. This show is awesome. I love this show. If you're a fan of the show, I know this is Jackie Daytona as a reference. It becomes Laszlo later. We'll get into that. Anyways, caricatures are all about finding specific features and exaggerating them. So as you can see, I started with the nose. That was just one feature that I thought I would focus on and just kind of go from there. A lot of artists will tell you to do like the shape of a head and then map in details from there. You can, that's fine. I found that it's just always helpful to have a center point and just kind of work off that or just something that you focus on and exaggerate to begin with. You'll have a lot more flow when you go forward. So the next thing I wanted to focus on was expression. Expression is huge. So all of this expression that I notice is in the eyebrows. He's making this kind of like weird smirk. Like it's yes, that's just him as a character, but it's his character. And that's what helps make him him. So you can see at this point, I'm really going in and angling the eyebrows more to give it even more expression. I'm also fine tuning my rough sketch that I did with the 6B pencil. Now with the technical pen, this is all done in Procreate on the iPad Pro, by the way. Once I go around the entire image with the technical pen and just kind of fine tune all my lines and get them roughly where I think they should be, then I like to use certain tools under liquify as well as the warp tool just to push things a little further and exaggerate them even more. I'm going to show you that in just a sec. I'm just going to speed this up real quick. Okay. So if you watch here, you'll see the eyes shift. I just kind of replace them a little tighter to the inside. And then I'm going around and continually just mapping in some of the dark sections. And you'll see in a sec here that once everything is mapped in, that's where I really start playing with the warp tool to kind of reshape the head and everything that I have here just to give me different options. Now this next part is gonna be a really, really big jump. You'll see uh, the head, yep, the head skews a lot. Is it cheating? Kinda. Work smarter, not harder. Now I really wish I had that part slowed down to show you guys in a future video, I'll go over that, but I'm basically using the warp tool to kind of stretch the face and find what I want to do before going into my final line drawing and get the perfect exaggerations where I want them. There was a time before iPads and all this technology and I worked on paper, so I've earned my dues. I'm saving time. Now that everything's where I want it, I can start my final line drawing of the character. I'm still using the technical pen for this portion. And in a second, I'm about to get into the next important thing for the character and that's shading. Now for this part, all I'm really doing is just adding some mid-tone of gray, just where I want the darker sections. You might be wondering, why are you getting rid of the toothpick? He's Jackie Daytona. Well, I'll tell you why. So at this point of the drawing, I was satisfied enough where I wanted to put it out to the world and ask if anyone wanted to get it as a tattoo. That wasn't the original plan. It was just Halloween time and I thought it'd be fun to do as a drawing. Turned out when I put it out there for a tattoo, someone actually wanted it. I'm always stoked when that happens, so thank you so much. However, they wanted to get Laszlo and eventually add Naja so that they would go together, which is fine. I'm totally cool with that. They also wanted to make sure that we added a glass of blood just to kind of add a little more to it. And I came up with the idea of writing bat behind it. If you haven't seen the show, it's one of his catchphrases, but it also helps the design to be elongated. And this is going on the side of the calf. So I needed that to happen. So here's the font that I drew up and that's going to be written kind of in blood. And then I just grabbed a random glass off Google just to put that in there real quick and see if I'd like that. And now we're getting into color. I did the color really quick on this. This is more or less just to kind of slap it in, show the client when I actually tattoo it, it's going to be more detailed, but I'm basically just creating a new layer, hitting clipping mask, then using the multiply option and slapping a lighter color on. And I already have the gray tones that make the colors appear over it. Yeah, I'll cover that in another lesson sometime. Did you guys get all that? Good, because now it's time to make a line drawing for the tattoo. Now you might be thinking, didn't I already make like a hundred line drawings? Welcome to tattooing. The reason that I actually am doing this now is because I'm actually outlining some of the highlights and some of the shapes in the shading that I want, not just the line work around the perimeter of the face or the eye details. I'm actually mapping in every single curvature that I want to show. This is going to help me tremendously during the tattoo process. Unfortunately, there's another curveball coming. Now, since my client is eventually adding nausea, she thought the glass would go better with her and that Laszlo should have a pipe. So once again, I was going to rearrange the drawing a little bit. I slapped in a pipe that I found off Google and uh, just kind of warped it a little bit. And honestly, I think it made for a good design. And honestly, guys, I'm not mad. Don't be scared to make changes. It's on you forever. 
This stuff is permanent. Now I can make a stencil and tattoo this thing. Okay, so I'm starting at the bottom with my line work, working my way up, and uh, as always, I'm not here to teach you how to tattoo, but as far as my lining needles, I always prefer the five, a nine, and a 14. For shading, I like to use my, I think on this one I did a seven, an 11, and a 19 curve mags. And when I start my tattoo, I want to map in the general information so that I could start wiping the stencil away and then just add and add and build up layers to eventually get that final product. So you'll see here, I'm mostly using my liner, but occasionally I will go in with my shader if I don't want a solid line just to kind of blend off and get that information in there ahead of time. So this is actually the perfect example of what I was just talking about earlier, where I'm going in with a large mag to just kind of map in this lettering instead of lining it. Um, I thought that that would be a nice way to kind of separate the character, the hard line that's around the face from the lettering being behind it, give it a softer feel with just the shader instead of lining it with a hard edge. Now I'm getting into the background a little bit and I thinned out my ink a little bit and I'm pointing that out because I'm blending into the skin. And you'll see that at first there's like a nice light purple transition. There will be some irritation that I'll point out later between the letters, but I know that when it heals, everything's gonna look super smooth. The irritation will be gone. So the redness of the skin will not compete with the lettering. That's important to, to know that when it heals, it's going to look better. At least I sure hope so. Now, one of the things I wanna point out that I did do here was I lightened up the hair a bit. I made it more vibrant, I brightened it up. And um, if this was gonna be an exact portrait, I probably wouldn't do that. But because it's a caricature, I'm trying to liven it up. I'm trying to have fun with it and just really, really make those colors pop out. I know it's called what we do in the shadows, but there's a lot of darks going on in the clothing and the tie. There's, you know, it's just, it, it, it needed a pop. And while we're on the topic of colors, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my ink sponsors, Extreme Inks. You can feel free to check out the ink line that I have with them, the Kevin Boudreaux set. I'll leave the picture on the screen and the website down below here so that you can feel free to go check that out yourself. And while I'm on the topic of shout outs, I'd also like to shout out my own website. That's right. If you guys want to support me more, you can always feel free to head on over to kbuart.com. I've got plenty of merch there. I've got original artwork. I've got prints. I've got apparel. I've got stickers, pins. Yeah, just check it out. Maybe get yourself something. And now back to tattooing. Okay, here's some final details right before I show you the final product, which is coming in three, two, one. Okay, now we're on to aftercare with the Sanoderm application. So one of the helpful things that I always like to do is cut around the corners or cut the corners so that they make kind of an oval shape. It just kind of adheres to the skin a little better. So putting the sticky side down here and just kind of making sure that all the air bubbles, as many as you can, just get out. So it's nice and smooth. And then once that's wrapped around there and applied, I can grab the zigzag line that's right down the center point and just pull that off. Boom, there you go. All right guys, that's it. That's a wrap for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to let me know in the comments who your favorite character is. And if you're not a fan of the show, just let me know what you thought of the tattoo. I also wanna give a huge thank you to my client Aileen for jumping on this project. You're the best. Thank you so much for sitting like a rock. And if you guys are interested in getting a tattoo by me, I'm leaving my email in the description so you guys can shoot a detailed email over there. Feel free to follow me on Instagram as well where I post all my tattoos. It's just my name. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. I'll catch you guys soon. Oh, <laughs> you guys are still here? Well, if you're still here, there's probably some options hanging out on the screen like subscribe or like or do something. So maybe, you know, that's actually a really good idea. If you guys didn't like the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe. There should be like a playlist option somewhere. Let's hang out. Click the playlist.